Hey, what is going on the YouTube? This is Robert and today I am bringing you to a palace video. Today's palace video is going to be going over their autumn range or you can call it the full range, uh, whichever you prefer to call it in the end. And yeah, we're going to be getting straight into that basically. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not wearing a hat or beanie for once. Uh, I've had a haircut. It's a bit short. Uh, I would prefer to be wearing a hat currently, just until it grows out, until it grows out again, because I prefer it to be a bit, little bit longer. But anyway, uh, regardless, I was just editing this video, and then I'd noticed uh, no intro. So yeah, I was like, there's something missing. The intro, the intro is missing. So yeah, we're just going to be getting straight into this. Let me know down below what your favourite item is uh, from the range. Obviously, it's almost like it's just their lookbook. It's their lookbook in the end. So yeah. Uh, let's just get straight into this anyway, and, well, I already know, but <laughs> you won't unless you've looked at it, but yeah, uh, let's just get into this and take a look at everything. Okay, so the Palace uh, Autumn range, or Autumn, yeah, lookbook, whatever you want to call it, uh, I have also started to put stuff behind for once, that there's at least a background of some sort, um, I'll start putting things on the wall and such at some point in time, but you know me at the end of the day. Uh, so the autumn range. Uh, now last time I covered one of their sort of ranges, uh, I took a little bit longer uh, than I probably should have realistically. Uh, it should have been, you know, 10 minutes-ish. Uh, I think I went way over that. So this time I'm just going to pick out the pieces that sort of catch my eye and yeah, that's about it really. Like realistically, I don't really have anything else to say. If you do have a favorite piece from this that you've already seen and looked, let me know down below whether you are actually going to buy it or not, you know, is another thing, you know, cause you could be like, I really like that, but you might not actually want to buy it in the end, which happens a lot of the time with me. So top row, uh, obviously I'm going to be opening up the Varsity. We've then got a Mountain Parker, a Formula Jacket, a Mechanic Jacket, a Thermal Bonded Bomber, uh, lowercase, hooded cotton jacket i was going to click on that but i think not Politech, i will open uh garment dyed jacket i won't the tabloid denim jacket i will jesus gilet i will uh cable knit i'm okay rose piece palace pain shirt hand stripe shirt mixed oxford shirt eh, rose chain bowling shirt boot shirt stripe rugby and intarsia i think i'll open for the time being from the top four so let's just take a, a gander in the end at them uh so we've got a greek varsity jacket i clicked on it because of the colors the like red and white with the yellow is nice and vibrant and stands out we've got 2022 obviously greek you know it's quite simple uh, at the side there opens up it's got something at the top will they show that they will not uh palace london new york tokyo and los angeles Oh, that navy with the grey and the uh, white is clean, actually. Black interior, too. Oh. See, if it went on sale, I would be there in, like, a heartbeat. But I don't think it will. I think it will probably end up selling out. So, let's just mark those things at the end of the day. Uh, move on to the Polartec piece. Yeah, black colourway is nice. So, yeah, we can go past that onto the denim jacket. Yeah, I think just the standard, like, blue navy tone uh, is the best. We've got the Jesus Gilet. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, other colorways too. Yeah, I mean, it's cool. It's different. Uh, we've got the rose knit vest. I think just black colorway it works best in. Yeah, black. Not so much the grey. Guess we've got a load of dogs. Yeah. Standard and simple, I suppose. Uh, the bowling shirt that reminds me almost of like the uh, like Simpsons when Homer joined like that bowling club type of thing. <laughs> um, I like the colorways though, nice and simple. Don't know how I feel about like the cheetah-ish tone, but yeah. Uh, the boots shirt as well. I just wanted to take a look because it seemed cool. Yeah, it's just a different piece in the end. Uh, and this one, I just like the look of. Gives me very like Polo Ralph Lauren vibes. Oh, that is a terrible tone. Does not work with that. Okay, moving on from there, we do have uh, a baseball jersey. We have some jeans. Uh, they're just going to be the same as the ones above, so there's no point in me really clicking on them. Got some trousers, some pants, some joggers, and two different shorts, one being a toweling short and one being a cargo sweat short. Okay, performance zip funnel, Polartec. Okay, we've got the matching pieces. I wanna look at the Polartec and the reflector and that one. <laughs> like to look at a couple of them. I like the order that they've got it as things like matching, linking below, 
Uh, I wish they did that with like the other pieces, but yeah, I, I can understand it. Uh, script piece, Dragon P3, that seems cool. We've got Palace, Adidas, obviously it's Palace. Uh, <laughs> uh, onto the hoodies, Grape, I will click on that. Mm, try Digi, obviously I'll open that. That one, open that one as well before we get onto the other pieces. Okay, so we've got a baseball jersey. Oh, it's Core Joy. Mm. Okay, I wouldn't buy it to wear, but I do think this this tone is really nice. It's really nice tone. So yeah, uh, we've got the Polytech piece. I just like the colorway. That's not a bad tone either, to be honest. It reminds me of the uh, Palace North Face, uh, like Japan release tone sort of thing they went with. Uh, other than that, black colorway is just plain and simple and just looks nice. Flexor, oh, it's tree camo. Okay, yeah, it's okay. Uh, the paneled jacket. Well, that's nice. I like that tone, but it reminds me of the saves shorts and like the cowboy piece from last season, to be honest. You go matching if you get both of them in the end, so. Uh, we've then got the sports script jacket. I just thought that the font looked cool. Navy, like blue tone, just really nice. I don't know what it is with Palace. Like black colorways and things are meant to obviously look nice. Brown colorway, you know, too, but just their navy tones. They always just look so clean and just so cool, but it's maybe just me in the end. Uh, Dragon P3 piece, this looked interesting. That is interesting. That's quite cool. Is that embroidered? If that's embroidery, that'd be cool, but it might just be a print. But then again, it's on the hood, so why would you do a print on the hood? Because then it would just like tear easily. That's a really cool dragon though, the way that it wraps around everything. I like that. Different colors as well, that's really cool. It's like really cool. Oh, a lot of different colors. Yeah, it's a really cool piece. Uh, we've then got the Adidas Palace Crew. See, I'm a sucker for green. Ah, oh, I'm a sucker for green. Don't don't make me do it. <laughs> don't make me do it. I'm a real sucker for it. Uh, I'm not really a zip hooded person, but I did just like to see what... Okay, I was expecting a bit more. That's a nice tone. Lilac sort of tone. It's clean. Yeah, I was expecting a bit more from that one. Uh, we've got the Tri Digi piece. Oof. Uh, nah, no. No, no, no. Grey's fine, but no. E. Uh, Palace Champion Crew. London. Oh, exclusive to the London store. Okay, so it says Brewer. Exclusive to the New York shop. Okay, different ones for different, uh, like, locations and stores. That's cool. Melrose for LA. Oh, that's that's unique. That's cool. It's going to make people annoyed because they want specific ones. Like, I like the green one and the grey one. So that's, yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's a good idea. Uh, we've got the 5G crew. I really wish that design was on the back. You could put it small on the front, large on the back. I know it's basic and standard and such a boring thing to, like, overuse, but just for me... I like it. Okay, moving on from there though, uh, we will go through some of these shirts. So obviously, I, it's going to be the same sort of thing in that. I want to look at that, that one. Obviously, the like Adidas one, I'll take a look at. Other than that, uh, we'll take that. Uh, I'll go for that one. Paloha, that seems cool. Uh, we'll go that one and that one. And then we're on to the hats. Okay, so this is the exact same thing, uh, except it's a t-shirt. So it's just going to have the font in just different colors, which is very cool. They're just doing it like exclusively for specific stores or shops in the end. So I like that. But yeah, it will obviously make people uh, annoyed that they can't get certain ones. Uh, we've then got the performance t-shirt. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's simple. It looked a bit like uh, Adidas again. Um, but yeah, it's all right. Simple. Legend shirt. We will move on from that. Uh, <laughs> I like the colors. Looks quite cool. Yeah. There's nothing really to say other than that. Light blue is quite nice, but I think that the overall, like, navy tone is probably the best uh, in the end. Again, the Adidas Palace piece just going to be the same two tones, isn't it? That green's really grabbing me. It really is. Uh, the Slub Stronger T. Yeah, I mean, standard in the end. Two tones. Greatest Hits, the Palace. Okay. I get it, yeah. Stop hitting me with these greens. Green and black is really nice in that. Wow. Stop, 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 stop. I don't need more t-shirts. Paloha. Don't do it to me. If there was a green tone, ooh, that's like the uh, Lakers type of color. I can see that one 
like selling in the end. Yellow's okay, looks more like orange, but okay. Yeah, pink's nice as well. I do like grey. Black one's okay, white one's alright. I definitely think the purple is probably the cleanest though. Other than that, we've got these saddle up. <laughs> it's nice that they change the colours, like on what he's wearing or of which he's wearing in the end. Uh, but yeah, it's just I just wanted to take a look at that one. We've got the tri atom. Yeah, that's a smart, simple design. He, I don't like the black outline on that. White outline's fine because it almost fades in, but the black outline's not too. I mean, maybe makes it stand out a bit more. I don't know. Oof, no, 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 no. Closing out of that. Okay, let's move on to the hats and the accessories. So. What have we got going? Take a look at that one. Take a look at the shop one. Adidas. The flame one. Take a look at that. That one. Okay, at the bottom we've got some socks. Adidas Palace again. We've got some incense. We've got a Zippo. We've got a Swiss Army knife. That's quite cool. Incense holder. Tri flag tray. A dog toy. I know people will be going for that. A herb grinder. A herb grinder. <laughs> Other than that, obviously, uh, there's a pen. Uh, there's a notebook. Sticky notes, air freshener, and the boards and the sticker packs. That's what I'll open up. Okay, Panasonic cellular phones. So it's a corduroy. Don't know how I feel about corduroy. Stone colorway. That's really nice. E. That's not great. Blue and stone. We'll leave it at that. We then have uh, the store like exclusive pieces, or in this case, the hat. Yes, yeah, so there's one for each. That's cool. Uh, I. Be honest in that, that's probably worth picking up. That green is so nice for the Tokyo one. My god, that is so nice. Yeah, that's simple. 50% <laughs> of all profits go to profiteroles. Good choice. <laughs> uh, we've got the Adidas Palace one. Yeah, plain and simple. The greens are really grabbing me. The Flame Trucker. Yeah, I thought it stood out a little bit. Uh, I don't think so much now. Uh, the Palace of London. Yeah, I think just the first tone. Just that. Nice and simple. Then we have the Tabloid uh, Denim 6 panel. Just one colorway. One colorway. It's nice and it's simple. Okay, skateboards. Are you going to hit me with anything crazy unique this time? Let's see. Because last time it was all about like rocks with faces to them. This time that is definitely a person there. Uh, this time I think it's a little bit different. That looked like a walnut. Maybe not. Maybe it's me seeing a walnut there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, nothing. Eh, that's cool, I suppose. Yeah. Different tones. First colorway is definitely a lot better. Not a massive fan of the trippy because it <laughs> messes with my eyes. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. There wasn't really anything this time that stood out like massively like last time with the rock faces, but they're still cool regardless. I think they're nice. I really like the layout of the font stretching and matching to each of the corners. It's cool. Uh, and for the sticker pack, these are the stickers that we've got for this season. So yeah, that is going to cover uh, this season's Palace range or Autumn 2022 range. As per norm, let me know down below, like I said at the beginning, what your favourite pieces are from it, whether or not you're looking forward to this one or looking forward to like the collabs or whether you're more so looking forward to like the winter season. Uh, I like the winter season as well, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, things that I do like from it, I do like the varsity. I'm a sucker for varsity jackets. It just stands out and I do like it. Uh, I do think that the baseball jersey is nice. I just wish that it wasn't corduroy, that's just me. Some of the other pieces are okay, but they're not to my liking uh, as an overall. I do like the Dragon P3 hood, I think that's cool. Uh, some of the others, didn't really stand out or grab my eye too much. Some of the tri digi are nice. Uh, and I do think that this whole champion uh, store exclusive is really like a solid idea overall across all of the pieces. Uh, a couple of the tees and t-shirts are nice. I do like the greatest hits, uh, the Paloha uh, and a couple of the others. The Atom is quite a unique idea, but I don't know if it works completely. In terms of the hats, there are only two or three that I think really stand out, and that's probably going to be between the tabloid piece, uh, the Palace Shop piece, possibly the Palisodic, the Adidas or the Palace London, but I'm sure one of the others will stick out to other people as an overall. I do think that the face mask and the Love Palace Mountain hat and the bucket hat are unique, but yeah, as far as the accessories go, I think they're all quite okay in the end. I don't know if the Swiss Army knife is going to release in the UK, but the other pieces are cool as well. You've got a pen and a notebook and different things like that, but yeah, that is going to cover it anyway uh, from me. 
yeah and also adidas i do like the pieces especially the greens the greens across a load of them i'm a sucker for so they're trying to pull me in with that uh but yeah that is pretty much going to cover it from me so yeah that's about it i do apologize for not uploading recently um yeah, there should be a video out tomorrow, then another one the next day, and then I just, I'm just i just going to get on a roll, pretty much. Uh, so yeah, that is going to cover it anyway, so I hope that you have a good rest of your day, and I will see you all next time. Peace.